Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hart, and today I'll be going over my favorite props for tomorrow's week one NFL Sunday slate. I have about four to five props for you guys here, breaking them down to why I like them, all the good stuff in this video. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And let's get into it, boys. So before we get into the breakdown, I just want to mention my Patreon, which is starting week two for NFL. I'll have extra prize pick plays, the early look plays. I'll have that all breaking down and broken down on my prize picks uh, section in my Patreon. As well as if you play DraftKings NFL DFS, I already have a video out there, but that will have a full write up for Saturday and every single slate. Uh, you know, a full write up of who I'm looking at, why, snap share count, snap share percentage, reception, you know, count, snap, all the good stuff, all the information jam packed into a daily write up for you guys on my Patreon. So make sure to check that out starting week two next week. But for this slate tomorrow, the first one I'm going to be looking towards is going to be the over here for Lamar Jackson. Going against the Houston defense here, taking the over at 52 and a half. If we look real fast, as you can see here, um, this is the kind of lineup I made for the video. So make sure to check that out for DraftKings NFL DFS. But if we go to Lamar Jackson here, going against the Houston Texans, uh, obviously there's blowout risk here, but we know Lamar, a guy who's going to run it probably 10 plus times a game, uh, has the ability to break out for huge runs. Obviously he was not healthy last year coming into the season fully healthy. So I really like him there, uh, but we'll get to him real fast. We'll go to his rush yards. And we can see right now it's about, uh, you know, it's even. Minus 115 for the over there um, at 49 and a half. I've seen DraftKings, excuse me, price picks. They bumped it up to 52 and a half. I still like the over there. Uh, he can get with one single run, run, but we know Houston's defense is okay. They gotten better, but overall they're still a bad team. Uh, it's a nine and a half point spread here. Uh, in this game total we'll pull up the game total as well sorry should have had that up for you guys there real quick we'll go to the game lines we can see here nine and a half point spread 43 and a half game total so okay not the best but yeah the ravens are expected to be up they're expected to run the ball a lot so do expect that to come from all lamar jackson's legs a decent amount so i do like him there for the first prop the over rushing yards for him 52 and a half i think it's a solid line to get him at even though it's bumped up on prize picks the second pick I have for you guys here is going to be the over here for Jackson, uh, 32 and a half receiving yards. Really like the over here. We're getting some very, very solid odds on this one. Uh, if we go to the rush receiving props, we go to the receiving yards, we go to JSM or JSN. Uh, let's pull them up here real fast. Devante, there he is, 32 and a half, minus 130 right now on DK Sportsbook, going against the Seahawks, uh, just a, a very bad team overall, excuse me, going against the Rams, very bad team overall, 32 and a half receiving yards, really like that there, uh, he looked very, very solid in the preseason, very, very good wide receiver, so really expect him to get involved there, 32 and a half, way too low there for that matchup there against the Rams, who should be down, they should be passing a ton, um, and we know the Seahawks like to pass a ton as well, so like the over there, minus 130 right now on DraftKings Sportsbook. The third option I have for you guys is going to the receiving yards of Mr. Waddle here. 67 and a half. Uh, I don't mind getting to the receptions as well. I didn't look at receptions on uh, DK Sportsbook, but let's look that up real fast to see what it's at. Receptions, we'll go to Waddle. Four and a half minus 125. Uh, let's see his receiving yards. Minus 115. So you can go to his four and a half, uh, you know, reception mark. I don't mind it. I think his receiving yards is a little bit better. He's a big play wide receiver, uh, high upside there when it comes to the catches and the receiving yards. The thing about the catches, though, is what scares me is what I kind of broke down in my DFS video is that Tua really, really focuses in on Tyree Kill a lot to where it's like, you know, there'll be plays where Jane Waddle is wide open. You know, he could be a top five wide receiver. It really just comes down to Tua not throwing the ball as much as he should be. You know, seven targets, five, five, six, seven. He should be getting 10 plus targets alongside Tyree Kill. Like, that's what it should be. It should be absolutely feeding these guys. And there's just games where he doesn't, you know, he doesn't target him a lot. And as you can see, you know, he's kind of floating around that four and a half, five mark. Um, so it's just the, the the targets scare me. That's why I like taking the over yards because he's a big play, big upside uh, guy who can catch huge, huge uh, you know throws from Tua there. As you can see, only three catches, but 114 yards. Five for 143. Um, four for 66. You know, five for 85. So it's like 
if he gets the volume, he should get over that mark. But even if he doesn't get the volume, he could still get there with a few throws, you know, four for 102. So I like the big play upside. I think I feel safer with the yards, even though it's not as good of odds as the over for receptions. But still, in this matchup here against the the Chargers, it's a 51.5 game point total right now in that game. Uh, so very high scoring, the highest on the slate. Expect a lot of scores, a lot of throws. So really like the over there for Jalen Model. 67 and a half receiving yards. The last pick I have for you guys here is going to be the over for Mr. Uh, Cortland Sutton here on the Denver Broncos. So type him in. As you can see right now, his his uh, fancy score right now is at 11 and a half. I don't mind his receiving yards. I think it's a very solid one as well. Actually, I'm going to switch that up. going to go to his receiving yards instead of his fancy score. Uh, over 49 and a half receiving yards. The reason why I like this is the Broncos are very depleted wide receivers. So. If we go to the Broncos real fast here, we can see Jerry Judy's questionable. It's looking like he's probably not going to be able to go tomorrow. They did just bring up two wide receivers from the practice squad uh, for Denver for wide receivers. I think it was Philip Philip Dorsett, and I think it was uh, Lil Jordan Humphrey. I think they brought both those guys up, and so I think that really means that there's no going to be not going to be Jerry Judy. So Cortland Sutton, already number one wide receiver, going to be the, the main guy there with no Judy, and then it drops down to Philip Dorsett. Uh, little Jordan Humphrey, and kind of these other random guys. So I expect a heavy, heavy volume here for uh, Cortland Sutton from Russell Wilson. I expected them to get on the same page there. I expect Sean Payton to really coach up Russell Wilson, have him be, you know, turn back the clock to get to old Russell Wilson. So I really like the number one option here for the Denver Broncos. Cortland Sutton, 49.5 is way too low, uh, especially in this game here when there's no other competition for him. Uh, So really like the over there for Cortland Sutton, 49.5. So these are the four picks. Lamar over 52 and a half rushing yards, JSN over 32 and a half receiving yards, Waddle over 67 receiving yards, and then Courtland Sun over 49 and a half receiving yards. So hope you guys like the video. Hit that like, that like button and subscribe. As I mentioned, we'll have a full breakdown on my uh, Patreon moving forward into week two for the rest of the NFL season. You'll get these picks early. You'll get more picks, uh, some six pick flexes, all that stuff in that breakdown on Patreon. So make sure to check that out. Check that out starting week two. So thank you guys. See you tomorrow.